Good morning, people of the grid. It's Saturday morning, 20 after 10, and uh, I've got a conference today. Tammy's heading off to her parents, her dad's birthday party this afternoon. So she's got about an hour and a bit drive. I've got a half hour drive, and then we're gonna reconnect up tomorrow. She's gonna be back here later this afternoon, tonight. So I gotta have some breakfast. Hi. 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 <laughs> Tell Grandpa happy birthday, okay? Okay. All right. See you I soon. Love you, love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Be good for mom, okay? Okay. Love you. When we went camping for that weekend, Amelia prepared her little hamster cage. We had friends staying over that took care of everything for us. Look at all the notes Amelia left. There's the cage. like she thought of everything. On my way to the conference, Tammy's gonna be on her way shortly to uh, her uh, dad's birthday celebration. Where she's going is the small town of Vulcan, Alberta. There's a community hall there. I think it's in the, the Legion, the Royal Canadian Legion. They're gonna have the celebration there. About a block away, there's a charger. So I think she's gonna plug Cora into that charger because it's there. And uh, I'm going to the hotel here where we're having our convention. I'm gonna be there until probably, I think our, our agenda goes till 10 or 11, maybe even later. So I'm gonna plug the light runner in there. That's only gonna be a 110 volt uh, 15 amp, but it's better than nothing. It'll get me six kilometers an hour. And since I'll be there like 12 hours, gonna be 72 kilometers added to my battery that's what I love about uh, electric vehicles if you've got the time and it doesn't matter plug it in even if it's really slow plug it in you get the power and uh, it's free All right, we're having a uh, break in the conference. We are done for a bit. We're gonna go out and uh, have supper. And that's pretty much it. I think that's gonna go till about 11 o'clock. And I'll be hanging out here. They put us in a room so that we could uh, start early tomorrow morning. Sounds good to me. So we're just getting ready for my dad's birthday party. And we thought we'd come wash Cora. And I went and picked up Ethan, because the hardest part about washing the Tesla is drying the roof. And you gotta dry the glass, otherwise it just gets spots. Abuse. So I bring Ethan, cause he's tall and I can't reach. Doing a good job. Oh, oh, you missed a spot. Oh, Too bad, it's gonna stay missed. <laughs> the, the falcon wings are tough to do, unless you're tall. So right now he's cleaning those for me. Ah, good idea. Very clever. I see that. So, Ethan's hiring out if you need your car cleaned. He's very good at it. He's using a, using a chamois for, for wiping and then a chamois for drying. Chamois on you. Chamois. <laughs> okay, gotta reach all the way to the end of this door. I will. Excellent. Excellent, standing on the tire, wiping down the door. I'm glad you're almost six feet tall. And another note for people, if you're using water to wash your Tesla, you always dry it in the shade, especially black cars. But any car, because then you can get to it before it dries especially on a hot day like today. So we're kind of in the sun, but we're mostly in the shade. Half. And he's working fast. Just about done? 
Yep. I'm gonna go get a tea. I'll just summons the car and call you when you're finished. Right. You're doing a great job. Thanks for the help, by the way. I really yeah. appreciate it. Oh, look at her. She's all clean and ready to go on a drive to Vulcan, Alberta. Ready to go on a drive to Vulcan and get dirty. Yeah, we may have to clean it in Vulcan again too. Are you good with that? Uh, I think Dad's gonna be there that time, so. Nope, Dad's not coming, so you're on your own. Hey See that? Guys. I have dark blue wizards. Dark blue wizards. Where is everybody? Do we have everybody? Amelia's getting the update. Alyssa? Are you here? Melissa. Melissa. We're missing two. You know, the problem with trying to get, oh, I'm gonna turn the air conditioning down for a minute so you guys can hear. The problem with trying to get four kids anywhere is hard to get them all in the vehicle at one time. So I had Amelia, I had Melissa, Ethan then did Ethan it. had to leave, and then I had Ethan and all of a sudden Sammy popped in, and then I had Ethan and Sammy and I lost two. So it's true. Uh, no, do I still, go? We have Melissa. She's Just leave them behind. Headphones. Oh, she has, oh, she has her happy head. See, I wouldn't have even known she was in here. Leaves her behind because we're still... 75%. Is that enough to leave? Yes. Let's go. That's like a passing grade. Like, Ethan... Even 50. Ethan's like, you should get the update for Boomerang. She's like, okay, I'll run in. An hour later. That's the dilemma. The update doesn't take that long. Check back in a few minutes to see if she makes it or not. <laughs> Yeah, you never would have guessed this. I have Amelia. I have Samantha. I have Melissa. I have Melissa, although she doesn't even know we're moving because she has headphones in. But I have no Ethan. I don't even know how this happened. We left him at home. We don't need him. <laughs> so we're gonna gra go grab something to drink for the ride, and then we're gonna go back and pick him up. And we're gonna be late. I hate being late. And at this point, Tammy's uh, on her drive out. It is smoking hot outside. I've got the light runner uh, plugged in down in the parking lot. It's just plugged in at 120 volt, 15 amps. So it's getting a nice slow feed of electricity. Doesn't matter, I'm not really going anywhere. So actually I'm gonna just run out here shortly and then I'll be back, but uh, plug it back in and get some free juice while I'm here at the hotel. Why not? Oh man. So I'm up on the ninth floor. It took it took like seven minutes for the elevator to come up and get me and then the cleaning staff were in there. It just took us a whole long time to get down. About 10, 12 minutes. I'm finally down in the car. I walk over to the car and I realize no key. I forgot my key up in my up in my jeans. So I use the app to unlock the car. I use the app to remote start the car. Don't need a key. Thank you, Tesla, for making my life easy. It saved me, uh, like it would have been 20 minutes at least. Everybody's coming down. It's Stampede Week here in Calgary. It's our big uh, annual celebration. There's a rodeo. There's a bunch of Midway stuff. The town goes nuts. The hotels fill up. Conventions, parties all over the place. Best time to get out of town, um, which is what I should have done, but uh, I got this conference meeting thing I'm at so anyway got the car started I'm on my way I'm gonna go grab uh, a bite and then I'll be well I'm gonna go grab a slurpee or something so I can cool off it is blistering hot we don't see these kinds of temperatures regularly 32 degrees Celsius Beautiful. <coughs> finally after much back and forth we have a hundred percent of the children in the car and now we are on the way to my dad's birthday party i hope we didn't forget anything i don't think we did anyway we're gonna be late wait I'm where's melissa again <laughs> she's in the back i did hear her so anyway um we're just about on the way which is or, or we're just leaving town which is awesome hey do you guys know something cool Hi. tomorrow is cora's birthday wow We've had Cora for one year tomorrow. So I'm gonna do a one year review. And I've been thinking about things I wanna tell you about Cora. And I know I, I tell you a lot already, but I've been thinking about things I kinda wanna tell you, what I yeah. like, what I don't like, which is a small list, but there's a couple things. Yeah, like she's... Um, and uh, just my overall general sense of the car. And if I buy it again, um, spoiler alert, yes. 
but is there anything you guys want me to talk about tomorrow? I get to hijack the whole show. Mike just doesn't know this yet. Oh, no. So, or most of it anyway. But yeah, if there's anything you guys want to know about Cora or driving her or what one year in uh, Model X has been like, uh, just put it in the comments and uh, I'll look at them tonight. And that will help to decide what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. Now, we're going on a road trip. Okay, so one thing that can't wait till tomorrow in my little Model X review one year thing is bio defense mode. When you travel with four children, sometimes five children, just the other one is older, and my husband, um, sometimes people smell bad for various reasons. Bio defense mode has been a lifesaver. So, just a word of caution or one note, please let people know before you fart in the car so you can have it on so it clears up sooner than later. It's a rude awakening when you have to like barely die and find the button so that, uh, that you can breathe again. <laughs> so it's great for outdoor smells and it's great for indoor smells. And I love the fact that the car has it. Such weird things that I like about this car. changes. Okay, so we just got to Vulcan and uh, you'll notice I did a 238 uh, watt hours per kilometer which isn't bad. I was going a little faster than normal and we were running air conditioning, but you'll see I was like right on the line, 63% utilization. I'm interested to see, so I'm at 259 kilometers um, to go home, which is 60, 63% of my battery. And I have 40, it says I should get home with 40%, but I'm interested. I'm interested to see what, um, range loss I have based on the heat and keeping the batteries cool. So right now we're at 259 kilometers. We'll check when we come out a little bit later and that's at 30 degrees Celsius. So we're going to a party. Let's go guys. <laughs> Looks good time. Yep.
so I just got back in the car and it's 11.30. So we were here since 5.30. So six hours, and you'll notice at 30 degrees, I lost like, I think, five kilometers of range. So kept it cool, but, uh, and it really didn't lose that much. Good work, Cora. All right, so quite a party, hey guys? Yeah. Happy birthday, yeah. Dad. We love you. Uh, we're on our way home. It's going to be an hour, and we'll be there. It's Why are we not talking about Mike? But it was awesome, I and mean, it was worth it. Why are so, we at a gas and station? And we missed Dad. Because like um, we gotta get. I'm gonna get caffeine for the drive. Oh, can so. we come in and pick up? On our way home. Bar? Well, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it out there. It's uh, just about 11 o'clock. Tammy is still out at the uh, birthday party in Vulcan, so it's gonna be a late night drive home for her late night for all of them um so i'll catch up with them tomorrow i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow it was a really good day tomorrow like tammy said is the one year anniversary of our model x so uh she'll probably tell you all about everything she loves about it and some of the things that she's probably not so crazy about which that list i know is pretty short it's been really good to us it's been a great vehicle so yeah i'll let her uh, fill you guys in anyways have a good night uh middle of the weekend Take care of yourselves. Miker, out.